YouTube. Kiss my cupcake here, and uh, today we're gonna do one of those amazing little update videos that you always love to hear from me. So, uh, what you're gonna be seeing in the coming month, week, day thing is a lot of stuff from Dub Squad, Dubby, my little Dubby, some stuff from Andres, and some stuff from me. What you'll see from me, you'll get a, a little die rise strategies, little die rise footage, little zombies footage, and a lot of other stuff. You'll see some Minecraft from Andres, I think some Minecraft from Dubby, and uh, yeah, let's move on to ooh, another thing I have to talk to you about. So, my friend was telling me about this Call of Duty wiki, I didn't really know about it, so I was like, awesome, Call of Duty is a wiki, I sh should have known that. So, I want to go see it, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna look up Tank Dampshi, and uh, look at what we have here. So, I read the first paragraph, and I was like, wah, 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 and so... I will read it for you. Corporal Tank Dempsey is an American Marine who fought in the United States Marine Corps and is a playable character in Zombies. His player indicator color is white shared with John F. Kennedy and Sarah Michelle Geller, but is randomized in Moon. Dempsey is scheduled to reappear in Call of Duty Black Ops. So... He's, re he, he's scheduled to reappear in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, I didn't know this. I mean, you guys probably knew this, don't lie. I didn't, though. I wish someone would have told me. But yeah, I guess Dempsey's gonna come back. I wish I knew that. I wish I did. So, now on to my theory. Now, my theories, you've never heard one of my theories before. My theories are so bad that they are probably, like, the last thing that's going to happen. So, keep in mind not to believe this theory, not to talk about this theory, but just hear it. Hear it and make theories off my theories. So that your theories will be right and my theory will just be a gay theory. So... Three, no, two, two things. No, three, three, for sure, three. First, so up here, it's the games that he appeared in. So we got World at War, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, and Zombies. Now, if I were to look up, let's say, Takio, is that how you spell his name? I guess so. Look up Takio with our nice aliens background. Up here it doesn't say it. Ooh. Up here it doesn't say it. It only says World at War, Black Ops, and Zombies. But it still says Takio is going to appear in Black Ops 2. And then if we were going to go to Nikolai. Nikolai. Yeah. No. Let's just see if it's this guy. Yeah, it is. It doesn't say him either. So that's kind of weird. Ain't it? So, then if we were just going to go back to Tank Dempsey. So far, it says he's the only one who's going to who's scheduled to reappear in Zombies, other than Takio. But Takio isn't as alkylated as Dempsey's little scripture thing writing. So, here's what I'm talking about. Takio's is, Takio is going to, Takio is planned to appear in some form in Black Ops 2. Or something along the lines of that. So what that means is, he might be part of an Easter egg where you like hear his voice or he's in a radio or something where he's talked about. Now Dempsey is scheduled to reappear in Black Ops 2. And his... Um, symbol is up there for Black Ops 2. This means 
there is a possibility he's going to be a playable character. So, th this leads me to say, why is scheduled italicized? Right there, scheduled is clearly italicized other than other to the other words. Wait, compared compared to the other words. So, here's my theory. Yeah, you didn't even hear the theory yet. That was just me ranting. So, Takio, or no, not Takio. Who the hell is Takio? Um, Stullinger, the German guy, the guy who could talk to Rigtofen. He, if you've played, if you've played Die Rise, there's a little cutscene in the in the beginning solo cutscene. If you played solo, there's a little for like a slight second you can see what appears to be Stellinger eating a zombie arm. Now this can do two things. It could either like it could either make him gain an immune um, immunity to a to the zombie disease because it's a disease now. It's not it's not creating the perfect soldier anymore. It's a disease that's spreading. It's a virus. So, he could either gain immunity until he's gonna get destroyed, like, eight and stuff, or it could turn him into a zombie right away. Sort of like when you get a shot. So, um, what I think is he's getting the zombie disease, because in several maps, um, you could hear him groan, you could... And plus, that's sort of maybe the reason why he could hear voices like Richtofen. I'm pretty sure the zombies could hear Richtofen. And then in Die Rise, the groans, or not the groans, the voices are turning into what seems to be a different language. So, in our next map, which I'll get to in a second, he might, part of the Easter egg might be him turning into a zombie and like they have to kill him not not like a george romero thing just like a normal zombie so and then maybe by some miracle dempsey will get teleported from moon to like the next map which i'll get to in a second all right so enough with dempsey let's flip over to my next thing Okay, so this was the apparent leaked orientation DLC. So I'm gonna rant about this one and then the next one. This is a bunch of bullcrap. That's my first thing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, amazing to the Photoshop guy who did this. That's pretty good. But I'll start from left to right. Here we have water. Okay, we just came out with Hydro. They're not gonna make another water map. So that's enough with water, and no one's going to name the map Water. Chaos, I can go with. Chaos is good. Hydro, that sounds cool. Uh, but water, no. Not water. Not even fire. Maybe magma, but not fire. Okay, dead high. Um, I can't really tell what's behind the hand, but... I'm, yeah, I, I, I don't get it. That just looks like a Left 4 Dead hand, maybe a roller coaster behind it. I could be wrong. Maybe this could be the DLC, but it's not looking like it until Treyarch confirms it. Okay, mobile. Again, I get a watery feeling when I when I look at that. Like it looks like you're underwater. Like and there's in the background those are like those scuba diver light things. All right, next one, plane. Again, another name. Plane. Um, looks like they got the MW3 guy right there. I think that's the MW3 guy. That might be MW2. I don't know. It's some guy. I remember him in a game. Um, and maybe like a terminal thing going on in the background, or maybe he made that. Could be. Um, but. Yeah, but they wouldn't release a they wouldn't release a map that like 
is is a plane. That sir, that's first of all, it's way too small. I mean, if it's like a plane on terminal, that's the map right there. That's a tear. That's terrible. And if it were like terminal, like they actually made a terminal, I could see that. Like, okay, they would, they could do that, but. Because it's not the Modern Warfare series, it's not Infinity Ward, but they could do that. But the users, the players, the users, the viewers, whatever you want to call them, they'd be like, what are you doing, man? You're taking Infinity Ward stuff. That's like signature Infinity Ward. Sort of like Nuketown. You don't see them putting Nuketown in a MW4 or whatever. So yeah. um, That Sniper, that's... We have two we have two bolt shots and we have two of the semi automatics. And the that sniper looks like it's gonna unbalance it and it's gonna put a semi automatic in. And then Southpaw. That map reminds me of it's one of the maps in this map in this not this map. It's one of the maps in this game. It's like you're in a research facility in like a jungle. It looks too much like that, so they wouldn't do that. And finally, the name, Orientation. That just screams water to me. Like an ocean. So, we're not looking at Atlantis yet. Maybe the last DLC, the third or fourth DLC, will be Atlantis. Maybe they'll even surprise us with the fifth. I don't know. On to the next pitch. Er. Okay, so this one's a bit harder to read. But this one, I, I could believe. Again, nothing's confirmed yet, but I can believe this one a bit more. Induction Black Ops 2. So, uh, and this one actually has the Treyarch Activision confirmation in the bottom right. And in the bottom left, it does have the rating. This one, however, does not. So, Induction Far Life. Okay, that's a cool, that's a cool name. It sort of looks like a MW3 map. Light rays, we're gonna do the zombies one last. Light rays, top right corner. Yeah, another cool one, I guess. Can't really pit, pit, uh, picture, um, tell it out, or, you know, you know what I mean. Chaos, that looks pretty badass. I might even play multiplayer for that, I'm not sure. Return, um, I can't really picture it out, I'm sorry. And then the XM 2012 sniper, that is... That's what I want, a bolt shot, man. I want a legit sniper. That looks like the L9 teen, whatever it's called. It's the one really cool sniper. And then Paris. This I can believe. There's been a lot of talk about DLC. Some of the big ideas that were put in were Paris and um, Atlantis. You could sort of see a tornado forming in the left. I, I think that's a tornado. That might be the connection to Dempsey and the returning. So, yeah, that might be it. And plus, if Dempsey to return, you're going to get perma perks for sure. Because Dempsey has perma perks already in Moon. So, yeah, per you're going to get perma perks after this Easter. I guarantee it. Might even get. Maybe the wave gun or something. Like they did in the Call of the Dead. They got the Wonder Why. So yeah, induction. That looks more promising than orientation. And um, so yeah, just a recap of what we talked about today. You're going to see videos up for sure. Strategies for Die Rise. If you still don't know how to play Die Rise. I'll get it. I'll try and get it in time for you PS3 players. Um, and we're going to have a lot of footage. Maybe even a few Let's Plays. And, uh, so yeah. Remember just to like, subscribe, share, and, uh, well, I'm done, so...